Oh, iodine. Both beautiful and pretty dangerous. It's my kind of element. Now, if you're not familiar with iodine, it's an element that is a solid at room temperature, and it dissolves readily in water. Not so much in colder water. We're going to use that to our advantage. It's often used in medical emergencies to protect the thyroid gland from radiation exposure, but today we're going to use it for a more fun purpose. We're going to liberate iodine from its molecular prison, and we're going to do it in style. All we need for this process is some potassium iodide, hydrochloric acid, 34% hydrogen peroxide, and some water. All of which can be obtained from your local hardware store and your favorite terrifyingly massive corporation, Amazon. We start out by weighing out about 26 to 27 grams of potassium iodide. The amount really isn't all that important, but I found this gets me more than I'll ever need. It's dissolved in about 50 milliliters of room temp tap water. We'll use colder water later when we don't want to dissolve it as easily. Next, measure out about 25 mils of hydrochloric acid. If the HCl isn't at 32% or so, just account for that in your measurement. The hydrochloric acid is added somewhat slowly, but it's not entirely necessary. Now we'll add about 10 mils of 34% hydrogen peroxide and get ready for the show. Some iodine will be released in this step. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of what's actually happening in this reaction. So potassium iodide is a salt made up of positively charged potassium ions and negatively charged iodide ions. When we mix potassium iodide with hydrochloric acid, the iodide ions react with the hydrogen ions from the acid to form hydrogen iodide. Next we add hydrogen peroxide to the mix. Hydrogen peroxide is a powerful oxidizing agent, meaning that it can cause other substances to lose electrons. In the case of iodide ions, the hydrogen peroxide oxidizes them to form molecular iodine. Next we'll vacuum filter the iodine. It helps to have some cold water available, or to put some in the fridge beforehand. We'll wash with a little ice cold water and then dry thoroughly on the, that's right, the coffee filter. To purify our iodine, we'll need to heat it up, which will cause it to sublime. If we heat it up enough, the iodine will actually liquefy, vaporize, and then condense, but we'll just heat it gently. To catch the iodine, we'll add a flask with ice-cold water on top of our beaker.
And there it is, some pretty good looking iodine. This can be used for a number of fun reactions, including the aluminum plus iodine purple smoke reaction, but I'll be primarily using it as a TLC stain. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more content. Cubane is progressing slowly but surely, and I just haven't put out a video on that, but I hope to do that soon. Other than that, I have a good amount of really cool ideas coming up soon. If you'd like to support the channel, check out the new Patreon link in the description below, and we'll see you guys later.